Hi everyone, welcome to another update from Parkinson's Queensland. In this update, I wanted to uh, hone in on a couple of uh, key things that are happening over the next few weeks. Parkinson's Queensland will be hosting a series of community information sessions. So that's where you can come and find out about what Parkinson's Queensland does, uh, the support that we have available. You'll also be able to connect with other members of the Parkinson's community from your local area. So we're gonna be holding three. The first one is on August the 30th in Ipswich. We're then gonna to go to Redlands on the 31st of August and the Sunshine Coast on the 5th of September. So if you're a member of the Parkinson's community, if you're someone who is living with Parkinson's, a family member or someone caring for a person with Parkinson's, come along, meet the Parkinson's Queensland team, find, find out about what we do and meet others uh, from your community who are going through a similar journey. All the information is on our website. You do need to register because we have limited places available. And I also have to stress that the sessions are not designed for um, allied health professionals or clinicians. They are purely for members of the Parkinson's community. So um, if you want to find out more or you'd like to register, jump onto our website and all of that information is there. Um, some exciting news, and that's that the Parkinson's Queensland Bridge to Brisbane team has gone over 100 participants, which is absolutely fantastic news. We're going to have a great presence um, at this year's Bridge to Brisbane on October 15. Um, if you would like to join the Parkinson's Queensland team, you don't have to run. You can walk uh, either four and a half kilometres or 10 kilometres. Uh, you can jump onto the Bridge, Bridge to Brisbane website um, find the Parkinson's Queensland team and join. Information again is on our website, but it'd be great to have lots and lots of people uh, to raise awareness of Parkinson's uh, through the Bridge to Brisbane. So um, yeah, if you'd like to be part of that, we'd love to have you as part of our team. Um, the other uh, piece of news that I wanted to share with you is that uh, this year, um, as we've done in, in the past, Parkinson's Queensland will be offering three uh, $10,000 scholarships to PhD students, so Queensland-based PhD students who are researching projects that are designed to improve the lives of people living with Parkinson's disease. So if you're a PhD student and you think your, your project might qualify, um, get in touch with me through the office. Um, I can um, send you the criteria and the application form um, applications will close in October um, with a view to uh, awarding the three scholarships before the end of the year. Um, it's something that we've done very successfully uh, in, in previous years and um, some of you may recall that uh, a couple of years ago we awarded a scholarship to an occupational therapist, Sarah Davies, who um, ran an, a fantastic project uh, to help improve activities of daily living for people with Parkinson's. We're hoping that there are some other Queensland-based PhD students doing some fantastic work as well that, that we can help. So if you're one of those students, get in touch with me and I will um, let you know about those details. Um, now finally, just to wrap up uh, this week's uh, update, um, last video I shared some information about a great little book called Tall Tales and True. Um, the book is by a Victorian gentleman by the name of Ian Cutler, who himself is living with Parkinson's. Uh, it's got some great stories in there. Um, a gentleman on the, on the Sunshine Coast by the name of Graham Love, who himself is living with Parkinson's, um, is, share, is selling these books um, and, um, uh, and donating some of the proceeds to Parkinson's Queensland to help us continue the work we do. So if you'd like to get a hold of a copy, um, please get in touch with the office. We can put you in touch with Graham on the Sunshine Coast and he can get a book out to you. Um, again, um, get in touch with us. It's really easy and we'll put you in touch with Graham and then he can do the rest uh, with you from there. Um, look, that's all. It's a short video this week. That's all from me for this week. As always, we're here to help, so don't forget, get in touch with the office if we can be of any, any assistance. And of course, you can talk to our nurse, Steph. Uh, or any of the members of the Parkinson's Queensland team, we're here to support you. So um, stay safe, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you the next one. Bye for now.